questions. Questions of the Honorable Deputy Regina Capel. After eight years, the Prime Minister is not worth the cost or the crime. The previous Conservative government reduced car thefts with common sense policies like tougher penalties for repeat offenders. The Prime Minister changed that and gave car thieves easy bail and house arrests. Under Conservatives, car thefts down by 50%. Under Liberals, car thefts up by 34%. And now he's being told at his fancy summit that his policies are the problem. Celeste Power of the Insurance Bureau said car thefts are up because, quote, Profits are high and penalties are light. So when will the Prime Minister abandon their soft on crime approach so car thefts can come down? Hey, hey, hey. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, on the contrary, would the Conservatives actually like to know that since 2006, the five years with the highest amount of car thefts in Canadian history were us under the Stephen Harper government? We are actually reducing crime today we had the auto summit where we brought in leaders across the country, including police. Mr. Speaker, we are working on tangible solutions, not just slogans from the Conservatives. The Honourable Member from Regina Capel. Those were the first five years we inherited from a previous soft on crime Liberal government, Mr. Speaker. But it's not just crime that this government's policy is making worse. On April 1st, the Prime Minister is going to drive up grocery prices again with another hike to his carbon tax. And the impact on this affects Canadians every step of the way from farm to fork. Keith Warner, professor at the University of Guelph, said 44% of growers are operating at a loss presently and three quarters have difficulty offsetting production cost increases. Instead of driving grocery prices up even higher, why doesn't he cancel his plan to hike the carbon tax? Hey, hey. The Honourable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, we will take no lessons from the Conservative who have no plan, Mr. Speaker. I guess their plan is to ask Jenny, Mr. Speaker. But on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, we have a plan to make grocery to stabilize price in this country, Mr. Speaker. It's called competition, Mr. Speaker. Canadians at home understand that. They are the only one who are blocking the further reform we want to put, Mr. Speaker, because Canadians understand that we want stabilized price, we want more choice, we want more competition. On this side, we'll fight for Canadians at every step of the way. The Honourable Member from Regina Capel. You would think that they would have thrown those talking points out after this week when we <laughs> learned, Mr. Speaker, all the relationships between Liberal staff and Loblaws, like Brian Topp and Don Guy, both who collect checks from Loblaws, and last year they met twice with the PM's Director of Policy. Oh. Or, like Taya Backett, the in-house lobbyist at Loblaws. She used to have an office in the PMO. You could run a superstore with all the staff uh, over there <laughs> that have relationships with Loblaws. When will the Prime Minister realize it's not Conservative volunteers driving up grocery prices, it's the carbon tax, stupid! expression known to, to many, uh, I do uh, warn all MPs uh, to please to try to uh, watch uh, and to stay safely on the right side of parliamentary debate. Uh, the Honourable um, Minister of, in of Innovation. Speaker, I will abide by your words, Mr. Speaker. And one thing that we're doing when he talks about superstar is right, and, and it's, I'm happy to talk about that because that's actually what we're trying to bring, Mr. Speaker. We're trying to bring more competition. I've been in touch with foreign grocers to bring more competition, to bring more options for Canadians. And people are watching at home. They understand and on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker. We have a plan. We are working for Canadians. On this side, they have no plan. And the only plan we've seen is to ask Jenny, Mr. Speaker. We'll continue to to work for Canadian at every step of the way. The Honourable Member for Louis Saint Laurent. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. After eight years of this Liberal government, the housing crisis is hitting Canadians hard. For example, in Quebec, the average rent has gone up by 19 percent over one year, and it will take twice as long to pay off a mortgage and up to 25 years to save up a down payment. 
That's what Canadians are facing after eight years of this Liberal government. Yet this government is very good at photo ops. When will they instead work that hard on building housing? The Honourable Minister of Immigra Innovation. I'd like to thank my colleague for his question. If there's something the Conservatives are good at, it's insulting mayors. The last time we heard from the Conservative leader, he was insulting the mayor of Quebec City, the mayor of Montreal, who is working with us to build more housing. What we're doing on this side of the House is creating programs to build affordable housing, collaborating with provinces and municipalities. Mr. Speaker, Canadians know that we must work together, and that's exactly what we're doing. The Honourable Member for Louis Saint Laurent. Mr. Speaker, for eight years, this government has been insulting all Canadians with their terrible housing record. Even the president of the CMHC has admitted that the government has no plan to fix the situation. There has been a 28 percent decrease in housing starts over the last year. That's the liberal reality. So my question, when will you stop holding press releases with photo ops, and when will you start building homes? That's what Canadians want. The Honourable Minister of Innovation. Mr. Speaker, I have a great deal of respect for my colleague, for Louis Saint Laurent. That said, I don't think we have much to learn about videos and photo ops from the Conservatives. Recently, we saw the Conservative leader doing a photo op and a video at the Port of Montreal, thinking that a video would fix auto theft. We have met with leaders in order to fix this problem and others. We talked about monitoring. We talked about innovation. We talked about technology. What the Conservatives don't understand is that in order to move this country forward, we must work together.